Hey, you space cadets. Tin Pony here. Let's go catch a Titurl out in the wild. We'll start by learning about it in the encyclopedia. And it's under ships. Extra large ships. And Titurl. Not much is known about this powerful armed freighter, except that it appears to be beyond the manufacturing capabilities of the Reavers themselves. Experts assume that the Reavers have a limited number of these ships, which they have maintained over the decades since the fall of the gates. To the present day, the Titurils' origin remains a mystery that many factions would like to see solved. She calls it a Titurill, I call it a Titurill. Um, we can see it's got a big hull, does have a jump drive, and a big price tag, almost 13 million. And that's just the base price. If you add on the possible upgrades, that number could jump pretty close to 20 million. So that's why I prefer taking these instead of having them made in the shipyard. Um, the nice thing about these is they are big. Um, they have a big capacity. They carry all types of trade goods, all types of trade goods, and they have about 150 drones capacity, which is which is pretty normal for most ships. Its big disadvantage is that it it turns slow. Now something the encyclopedia doesn't show us is where all these gun placements are, where all the shield generators are. So let's go through the components on this. Towards the back by the engines underneath is the jump tunnel. And that's important to take out so it doesn't just blink out on you. Oops, you didn't see that, did you? You don't want it to blink out on you just as you're about to board it, and especially after you have boarded it with your Marines. There's six engines back here, two big ones, one medium, and three smaller ones. Oh, I've got to get a different angle on this. So six engines. And once those are taken out and the the jump tunnel device is destroyed, it's immobilized. It won't go anywhere. We have a uh, force field projector and three hit turrets underneath on the left side, the port side. There's three. And on the starboard side, we have, surprise, surprise, the same layout with a force field projector and three hit turrets. Moving up this side, we have another installation of guns up here but this time it's three hit turrets and a plasma turret and this is protected by its own projector up on top right there on the other side we have another projector Oh, stop it. People are going to think you're drunk. And that protector, this is the same setup as the other side, so it's pretty symmetrical now. With three hit turrets, a plasma turret, and a force field projector. We'll come back down this side. You see that there aren't any out here because they're tucked up underneath where the jump tunnel is. We'll come up and from stem to stern, from aft to fore, we've got 
another installation here that's got six hit turrets and one force field projector for those turrets. We'll come up over the conning tower and here are two Mark II capital field generators. And these can be a bit stubborn to get rid of, but they don't shoot at you, so I usually save those for last. And coming forward again. And this is where those lateral gun placements are. These are the projectors that protect them. They can be taken out pretty easily without knocking out the projectors, so I tend to focus on what is shooting at me. There's another projector and four more hit turrets up towards the nose here. So that takes care of everything on top, but we do have more on the bottom. And I'm going to come back here to back here to the jump tunnel device and turn around and start working my way forward. We do have those three on this side and then up towards the nose underneath the ship we're going to find another projector force field projector and it's protecting two hit turrets one on each side. There's the other one. And as we continue up under the very nose, there are two more hit turrets. Now, if that wasn't enough, we've also got the drone launching pad. right up here by the communication tower. So that, I believe that's everything. Now you know where they are. Not just how many is there, but where they are. So let's go find one in its natural habitat and see if we can tame it. Okay, I ran into one. Here we are in beautiful downtown Buried Treasure. Now, Buried Treasure has a jump beacon, which means allied ships and enemy ships will jump in here. That's how we got here. But there's a Titural over here. And I'm going to go to Details. And it's Engines, Hull, and jump driver all tops which I would expect it has fuel and it looks like it's missing some of its defense and offense components which means it's been it's been in a fight somewhere but with it highlighted on the map I can see it it shows up as an arrow on my outer ring and it shows up with the red and white indicator corners so we'll just stroll on out here and it looks like it's got company okay and they're too small to be fighters so that's probably his repair drones I think I saw that he has two we'll come up and take out the jump tunnel so it won't run away from us and usually an astro b launch along with some inertial hammer hits will take out the jump drive and somebody's shooting at me so i'm gonna back up a little bit so it obscures their aim and with the proper upgrades, you can see here, this component, I'm taking down its shield and then its hull. 
which is just natural progression of things. Um, and you'll see on this, when I double click on this engine, it tells me it has no shield and its hull is close to done. Now it's done. And again with this one. And I'm just going to use a rocket barrage on this, the Astro B Swarm Killers, to soften it up. And now I can take these three engines out. That's five. So the guns can't reach me back here behind the engines. But that sixth engine is obscured by debris and smoke. So I'm going to have to poke my head out. And there it is. Okay, now it's immobilized. I'll take a, take a second here to see what's what. And the Serenity is the Albion Skunk. I renamed it to Serenity. I'm going to call all my ships except for my mining ship. And I'm going to broadcast fly to withdraw from battle. So they won't come over and start pounding on this ship unless I unless I tell them to. And I'm gonna get the info on this. Uh oh. Jump drive is still functional, so I better get down there before he starts jumping. And take out his jump drive. Okay, now he's immobilized. He won't be going anywhere. And I'll come get these guns that are underneath so that I have a, uh, I have a safe spot to park and let my shields regenerate if I need to. Okay, and I'll come up here and take out this force field projector. I'm also watching my inertial hammer so that I don't overheat it and melt the barrel. Because it takes a, it takes a little while to change out barrels. I'm kidding. It just takes a little while to cool down. Um, we've got two more hit turrets up here. It looks like those other two that we saw on on the beginning ship were already taken out, so I got a little lucky there. Now I'm going to come back along this side of the ship and take out these banks. There are three hit turrets and a plasma turret here. One Astro B Swarm and a couple of hits with a, an inertial hammer, and that's all gone. So this whole side is cleared out because those three hit turrets towards the back were underneath it. We got them first. These three hit turrets are on the side, so I'll take them out. And I better get underneath the ship here and take a breather. Now I could stay down here and let my shields regenerate more, but I want to want to make sure I got I got everything down here that's going to shoot at me. Now I'll go up front and take out this bank on the side. And there are three hit turrets and a plasma turret. Give it a rocket blast to soften it up. Take out the plasma turret and 
now this side is clear so we've got both sides and the bottom and it looks like this is taking a lot of damage on the nose here there's only three turrets I'm getting shot from behind which means there's still turrets on the fantail yeah Oh look, there's the repair drones. Let's take them out. Make sure they didn't repair the jump drive. Got too much invested to let it disappear now. Take out this force field projector as long as we're here and see it get some information on it okay no engines no jump drive and we've got a couple of force field proje force field projector and a generator and those hit turrets should be up top on the fan tail so let's take a peek yeah there they are there's five of them so I'll aim at the projector here those astro bees took out everything back here one shot I really like I really like using astro bees now this capital field generator mark 2 is is a bit of a bear to get rid of it, they're they're really beefy sometimes so I'm just gonna pound this down and you can see I've got it highlighted so the shield and hull in the lower right display is just for this component and it's the last component the last of the shields And my inertial hammer is going to over, going to overheat, so I'm just going to cycle through the mounted weapons and give my inertial hammer a chance to breathe, give it a chance to cool down. And there are a couple guns that are pretty effective, and a couple that aren't, but. The inertial hammer seems to do the most damage, so I prefer to use it. I'll just use these others for a few blasts and go back to the inertial hammer. And I cycle through these with N on my keyboard. You'd see them on the left hand display at the bottom. You can see how they heat up or don't. My biggest concern right now is that this takes too long and somebody's going to sneak up and try snaking this by either destroying it or defending it. But this ship is basically mine now. Okay, we've almost, there goes the shield. And the hull is gone. So, the ship itself has a 99% hull intact. No engines, no jump drive, no weapons, and no shields. And that's what I like to see. It does have a high boarding resistance because of the, uh, the hull being at 100%. Oh, man. Here comes a hero. He's going to save me from this big bad Titurl. Now this is an allied fighter. And I really hate to do this, but I will take on three or four of these guys. 
when they come in and start messing with my ship because in my mind this is my ship now so I'll risk I'll risk taking a demerit for shooting these guys that come in and try pirating my ship and I'll use my cargo magnet to pull in his personal effects which I will return to his family except the V Crusher missiles his kid doesn't need to be playing with missiles. I'll do an F5 to quick save the game. That way if something goes sideways I can I can always come back to this point in the game where I'm where I'm ready to board. Now this ship still has a really high This guy is a little worrisome. At Tenaris, I can't take him in a fair fight. Let's make sure there are no nasty surprises first. The ship still has a really high boarding resistance because the hull is uh, it's at a hundred percent now. So I don't expect to get through this with all my marines. And that's why I did a quick save. There's my marines landing and boarding. That's why I did a quick save was so I can come back to this spot and break down the hull and get a lower boarding resistance on it. We'll see what happens here. That's the last of them. All right. Now for the fun part. Maybe we can learn some Copilot wanted me to take out any remaining components oh and I lost seven veteran Marines and three elites so I'm gonna reload this game that I saved load game quick save that's that's why I saved it was I was just seeing how how close I was to being able to take this with a hundred percent hull and I'm not close at all so I'll try again. And I know I need to get the hull brought down. I'll check the immediate area again. Looks good. Where did that where did that Tyrannus go? Oh, he's up in the upper right part of the screen now. Yeah. They usually carry a large number of fighter ships. But now I'm just going to break down, if you watch in the lower right corner, I'm going to break down the uh, hull on this. And that'll lower the boarding resistance. So I should be able to keep all 50 of my Marines and they're all going to get some experience. Um, Early in the game, I have taken one of these with all recruits, and I had to take the hull clear down to 10%, I think it was, in order to not lose any Marines. So it can be done, it's just much harder to repair once, once the ship becomes mine. And because I restarted the game, I have to open these up again okay no engine no jump drive and the boarding resistance is dropping I think if I get down to 75 or 80 percent I should be okay Because all I have at this point is mostly veteran marines and a handful of elite marines. There are no more recruit marines in my in my squad of 50. I keep bringing this down. I'm going to pause the game and check the info on the ship again. Yes, that is a thing. Okay. 
let's go ahead and think about boarding it. Let's look at the immediate area. Uh-oh. Here comes John Wayne's cousin. And he wants to help me destroy this big bad Titural. But I don't want to destroy it. And I don't want him shooting my Marines while they're landing. So, shift A to autopilot to him, and one rocket barrage will take care of him. Collect his personal belongings. Get his dog tags. And I should be ready to should be ready to board this hulk. Click on the Let's ship, sure there are no go F, first. and then blow up the pick the board option. Copilot wants me to take out this engine. And my Marines have launched. Let's make sure they get there in one piece. Launching for the target. Jump tunnel is still still the smashed up. And I'll bring the hull back down to 75% or close to it. Yeah, melted another barrel. for the fun part every part's the fun part let's get a report marines Okay, 50 Marines remaining. Excellent. So, 75% should should work for us on this round. And the Marine officer is not yelling at me. I'm her boss. So, she's yelling at the Marines to get on with it, and move out, and move up, and all of that. That she's She's directing her Marines. Yes, ma'am. And if we can maintain this as status quo, we'll own this ship and not lose any Marines. Jump tunnel is still 50 Marines remaining. Nice, sweet, that's what I like to see. This shows the importance of that quick save before you board a ship. Again, if things go sideways, you can go back to that quick save and make another run at it. Get on with it! Get on with it! Sounds like a Monty Python skit. Get on with it! Okay. Watch it for us until we bring a replacement captain. It's gone green. It now belongs to me. And it's it's my responsibility to get it repaired. To do that, I'm going to have going to have to put a crew on it. But first, I'll accept my mining ship. I'm going to broadcast stop current task stop current task means they will follow the albion skunk again 
and let's take a look oh we've got some fighters down here on one of my ships my ships are green and it seems to be holding holding its own pretty well so oh it's a titural let's look at this guy he brought a lot of fighter ships with him look at the details on the ship that's fighting those fighters and he doesn't have a scratch on him so I'm not gonna not gonna be too concerned except that that freighter out there with all the escort ships if he decides to come over that could turn into a turn into a brawl take a closer look oh he's not close he's not close at all okay I'll stop I'll stop worrying I'll stop being an old woman and let's put a Let's put a crew on here. I just happen to carry a crew. So I'll go back to crew quarters. And I really do. I happen to carry a crew as often as I can afford it. Just for this sort of occasion when I run into something I want to take. Um, or liberate. I'll put a five star engineer on that new tie turtle. I'll move over to my new duty station. A defense officer and a captain. Yeah, clean it out. Defense officer, click on him, work somewhere else for me. Click the ship I want him to work on and select. Yeah, engineer's working on that. Should, should be a broom in her hand when you get there. Click on the captain, work somewhere else for me. Titural and select. Sir, I'm moving into my new quarters now. And I put a five-star engineer on that ship because that will get it repaired fast enough. I don't have to take it into uh, shipping. And I'll go in and get my marine officer details, calm, come back on you, board. She'll come back on board with the marines and they'll be ready to go for the next one. So I'll have to round up a crew for when that happens. Go into the captain, tell him to refuel automatically so he doesn't have to ask permission. There's my hero. See my hero. Anyway, this is Tin Pony. This was fun to make. I hope it was fun to watch. Maybe you learned something. Thanks for watching.